hey, I, I'm almost speechless. You know, we, we made it to this point. This, this was our, um, our mission from the very beginning. Uh, actually, this was our mission since the last game in 2019. So as to, for us to get to this, this moment is, um, I, I mean, I can't put it into words. I'm so proud uh, of these guys and, and the work they've put in. Um, proud of the coaching staff, proud of just everybody, our, our administration, just everybody helping us get to this point. Um, you know, it probably wasn't our best game. You know, I'm, I'm very angry about the turnovers. Um, I, I'm angry about some penalties, but at the same time, I mean, a win's a win, baby. We're going to the National Championship game. That's all that matters right now. So we'll, we'll get back to work on money and, and fix those things. But um, hats off to, to Colorado School of Mines. They're a really, really good football team. Um, we knew coming into this game they were not going to make any mistakes. We knew that they were going to try to keep the ball away from us. Uh, I see now that they, they uh, had a lot, lot more possession time than we did. Um, you know, and, and we knew they weren't going to give up. You know, they, they've been playing extremely hard all year long and, and never backed down from any opponent, no matter what the score. Um, so that, that's a really good football team. And, you know, at this point, you know, the, the last four teams are all really good football teams. So we, we knew we were going to have to come out and play a really good game in order to advance. Coach, questions for the student athletes? Coach, can you just talk about Ivory's performance today? It just seemed like every time he needed a first down with his legs, with his arm, he was just making every play. I mean, he, he's, he's so much fun to watch. You know, he is. He, he can do it all. Um, and, and really, uh, again, kind of wearing my dad hat, you know, or whatever you want to call it, my coaching hat, whatever. You know, he, to see him um, just mature over these last year, year and a half, to see him continue to work hard and get better each and every game, um, I, I couldn't be more happy with the young man. Um, but he, he's an electric player. He continues to, to carry the team. Um, now, he's blessed because he's surrounded with some really good playmakers on both sides of the ball. Um, but I really like the way he, he runs the offense and on the sideline, even if we've got adversity in our face, you know, he, he is keeping everybody up and, and excited and he's just happy to attack every play. So um, he's fun to watch. Questions for Jay on LC. LC, um, you guys opened with that 60 yard bomb. Could you just talk about what a play like that does for the offense uh, to start the day like that and your relationship with Ivory as well? Um, a play like that to start the day, it's normal. Like that's what we practice on. Like this, this is a team. Like that's that's what we do. That's that's football. That's about Austin State football. It's, there's nothing new. It's nothing spectacular. This is what we do. Um, my relationship between Ivy Durham is, I don't know. Even though I'm older, I let him be the big brother because that's my quarterback. You get what I'm saying? Whatever he want me to do, whatever he need me to do, however he do it, I'm gonna get it done for him. He call me. I'm getting him by my bed. I'm going to take care of business. That, that's just my guy. That's my brother. Elsie, I guess just kind of going off of that, obviously Coach touched on it there, but you know, just the feeling to be going to Texas, you know, what, is it, what does it mean to you and, and for this team? It was really emotional, man. I, I took my first loss in 2019 in a long time, and just from there we just made a pack, we made a bond from that very that game right there that we would never lose again. It's, it's not in us. That's not the tradition. That's not what we was brought in on. We, we found what we needed to do, became a, a solid foundation, and we're a team, baby. Coach, building off of that, I mean, the, the legacy here, it's no secret at Valdosta State, but to have a guy, group of guys that, that did buy in in 2019, they all stuck around, was, went through last year, not playing at all. What does it say about this group and the guys that you get to coach every day? Well, I, I think they knew that we had uh, the makings of something special. Um, you know, a, a lot of these you guys on this team have been there and done it before, so they, they knew that we had a really, really good team uh, coming back. And, you know, there was a lot to change during the COVID year and, and with the portal and all that. We, we could talk for hours about all that. But what I'm most proud of is these guys pulled together. Um, you know, they rallied around each other. They, they came to, to work every day. And it doesn't seem like work. I mean, we, we all have fun and cut up all day long, <laughs> even though it, it's, we have to work hard. But um, it, it's been fun. It's been fun being with these guys. They have a good time with each other. Um, they know when to get serious and, and lock in and start working. But um, – you know, we don't want this to end. You know, I mean, it's been a long, long season. We're, we're exhausted. <laughs> but we don't want it to win. I mean, if you could tell me we can keep playing for six more weeks, we would just because we love each other's company and we don't want to let go of these seniors. Jamie, I'm talking about the defense today and how you guys play as a defense. Um, coming into the game, we knew they were very physical, very tough. Uh, we knew we had to match that and even beat it. You know, that was just the game plan coming in. We had to be tougher. We had to be dominant. We had to set the tone early and stop the run. Um, I feel like we did that. We had a couple of mental books. Like I said, it wasn't a perfect game. But as a unit, we bought, we're family. We got each other back. 
So no matter what happened on the field, we know we're going to you know, go out and get it done. I got to brag about this young man just real fast. I mean, um, you know, it was a back and forth game. They just wouldn't go away. Um, and I'm out there fussing at the defense, get me a turnover, get me a turnover. And the, the play he made right there in the middle of the field to jump up, swallow the ball, and come back with the interception was amazing. Um, we've just had different people step up in different situations throughout the year. Um, so that, that was, um, you know, kudos to the defense and Jamie for just making a great play right there. Coach, speaking of guys that stepped up, Buzz, I think, knocked away the first onside kick, and then he recovered the, the second one. You talk about guys that get it done. I mean, last year it was offensively catching balls. <laughs> Tonight it was this. Just just his performance. I mean, it might be the most important catch of his career. <laughs> you know, I told him that afterwards. But, you know, obviously he's, he's been rehab, and we're trying to get him back healthy. Um, he probably could have played today. It would have been a, a question mark of could he last an entire game or not. So that's why we were kind of be, being real careful with him. Um, but, I mean, yeah, you, know, you know Buzz. You know, if he was in here right now, he'd say, I knew that was going to happen. I told the team I got it. And I told Watson, just I dare you to kick it my way. I'm going to catch it. I mean, we, we, we know him. And um, just a, a big-time player for us. He plays a lot of confidence. Um, and for him to make that play right there does not surprise any of us. Defensively, you guys really seem to collapse the pocket, especially in the second half. You know, with four, with four sacks there. Um, with him running the ball and, and making plays with his arm, how important was it that you guys were able to get that pressure and then eventually kind of win that battle? Well, you know, um, you know, a lot of their biggest plays was him scrambling, getting out of the pocket. You know, uh, I, I thought we did a good job of trying to get to him. We got to him several times, but he did a really good job of escaping out of some tackles and getting, and getting around the edge and, and making some throws downfield. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard for those DBs to stay in coverage that long. Um, again, that's a good football team. They've done that to everybody all season long. Um, you know, I'm sure when you watch the film and, and sit there and say we should have had seven or eight tackles or sacks or whatever here and there. But, uh, again, they're here for a reason, um, uh, you know, and we'll, 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 we'll watch the film and make some corrections right there. But, you know, overall, you know, I hadn't even seen what we held them to. Um, they, they had some explosive plays. They had 87 plays. They had, you know, 26 more plays than us um, and really just controlling the ball there, especially in that second half. Jamie, I'm just, you know, for, for you guys to be able to, will one out there, you know, that's what championship teams do. So to be able to see your guys be able to, you know, do what's necessary to just move on, you know, how, how big is that and important is that to, to be a part of a championship team that, that has, you know, that in them? Mm, it's a blessing. You know, it's a blessing. We still got a lot of guys from that 18 team that won the Natty. So with that leadership, we can, you know, pass it on to the other players and get them to buy into the culture that we already established. Um, as far as willing out the game, I knew we could do it on our, on our side of the ball as well as their side. We got some determined guys, we got some greedy guys, some guys that don't back down. And that's what we keep preaching. Our saying is put the ball down. We don't care if you're on the 10, we don't care if you're on the 25, we don't care where you at, put the ball down, but we're gonna stop you. That's our mentality every time we take the field. Coach, I asked you this last week, but you're headed, this time you're headed to the national championship game. I mean, how long do you let it soak in? How long do you celebrate it? And then obviously it's back to work. We'll be back to work tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll probably go out with my family and celebrate a little bit, but, um, I promise you, I hadn't slept at all. I was up at 3 o'clock this morning. I'll be up at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning wanting to go to the office and start to work. Um, you know, we, we got it's going to be a hectic week, obviously. Um, you know, so we got, we got a lot to take care of in the next, you know, 48 hours. Um, but it's fun, right? It's fun. Uh, um, you know, so it, it's um, going to be a lot of fun going to work tomorrow morning knowing we're headed to the national championship game. Any more questions?